Ah, what a beautiful day, hi good people. It's starting to get a bit more rain. Um, but I just want to have a little talk about statism and rights. Now, uh, if I ask you a simple question, which is, have you the ability to give someone a right that you don't yourself possess? Upon this question hangs all of governance. So if the government can do something that you can't do, where did they get that right from? If you didn't have the right to give them, there must be someone else giving them that right. Um, This is where a lot of that Luciferian contract comes into it, I guess, and maritime law and the changing of the guard back in the 1700s. Um, History is pretty full of crap, okay? You're not told the truth. Um, There was huge amounts of orphan trains. There was huge amounts of incubators. If you put two and two together, maybe the government has been setting everyone up. Um, Now, you can't possibly derive a right from nowhere in the same way you can't derive life from nowhere. I mean, that's ludicrous. So where do these rights come from that we don't possess to government? And that means is government claiming that they have their rights from another power besides us because we are told that government gets their rights from us in a contract Um, and it's called... Oh, I mean, there's many different contracts, but it's a social contract with government generally um, because I never signed up for it, you never signed up for it. Um, however, but within a social contract, there has to be two sides of it. So you must know what's going on. I provided a video just the other day by a, um, I think he's a Torres Strait Island man. Um, but, I mean, he put forward the, the case that the government has usurped you. They, they are selling you in the land of the dead lost at sea. I mean, this argument's been around for a long time. I mean, it really came prevalent in the 70s when Whitlam let the Catholic Church come and take over our courts. Um, that was a very sad time. But statism has been relying on propaganda. And as the last page of propaganda is order out of chaos. Well, then they're providing the chaos. That's what government's job is. To get order out of chaos requires there be chaos. Now, these old buildings you can see here, Crystal Palaces used to have this glass or clear stuff over them. It's all gone. They take it all. Melbourne Station was possibly one of these buildings. All these structures were pre-existing. They've lied over it. They use things like this quarantine. They're putting up 5G everywhere, etc., They use this governance to make moral decisions which they have no right to make. Um, I can't judge someone. So where does government judge someone? That's not its duty. The duty of government is not the judge, yet it is. That was the duty of courts. Government are not courts. Um, I don't think they realise this. I think the chasm that should exist between them has got shallow, so shallow that they can just traipse across. I guess that's why we have so many lawyers in government. Ever since the Catholics have been running our legal system, they've wished to take over the other side too. I mean, I imagine if you chase a whole bunch of people for a couple of generations into the bush and feed them lots of lies, you're going to end up being able to take over the country. I mean... Mercenaries have destroyed Siam. Um, the whole, let's call it the, the Tartaria, whatever you want to call it, that strip that was northern Tartaria, which is Russia, China now. The whole Central Asia, which was Siam, which has been torn into the Myanmar, Burma, or whatever, and Thailand. What a horror. Thailand. If you were from Thailand, would you want to be called Thailand? It's like being tied up. Submission. And if you have a look at how the king has lived since, I guess that's uh, only a fair call. Um, as you'd know, the yellow is is that colour of the people supporting the, the king. We're seeing a lot more red there, um, the socialism. Look, history isn't what you've been told. 
I don't exactly know it, and I know that we've been fed bullshit, though. And I know that at the moment, they're not only trying to put us in prison in our own homes, they're trying to put us in prisons in our mind by making us lazy and wanting the government just to take care of it. They're not going to. What the government going to do, they're going to eat your brains like a bunch of zombies. Anyway, look, on the good side, pray for your neighbour, love your friend, love your enemy, and God bless you all. Much love. Tell your family you love them. God bless you.